Michael Perry and Beth Ann Locke here today, and we want to chat with you about a question we get asked all the time. How do I know how do I know my donor is ready for an ask? You know, we everybody tries to move the donor along in the relationship, and and one of our greatest struggles of many fundraising team members are, um, or the struggle is like, what do I do with the donor now? What do you think, Beth Ann? I think one of the things you need to do is to get out of your way of overthinking and start talking to your donor about what they can accomplish with their gift and then ask them, is now a good time to talk about your gift? I know. I, I find that fundraisers talk to donors about everything except their interest <laughs> in giving. And then I know I did when I was a young fundraiser. And what I did, I would chat about the weather. I'd chat, chat about the Tar Heel football team and, you know, the New York social scene. And I was charming and interesting and a little bit of update on the business school. But I didn't really know how to move that conversation forward. And and we we recommend now that you you chat with your donor about your work and the organization. You know, business school is doing all these things. And, you know, we're, we're in this campaign. You talk about the campaign. You talk about your job. You talk about the fact that you're raising money. You know, you got, what do you think, Mr. Donor? Uh, we we um we're working on a million dollar naming opportunity. You know, do you what? Do you have any advice about this particular donor we're working with? You know, I always ask for advice. But then you got to pop the question, and the question is the permission question. Is now a good time, or would would you like to know how you can help? Have you given any thought to your gift this year? Or it's um one time I said the um. The dean wants to come ask you for your campaign gift. Are you ready for that? You know, so I was like the warm up trying to figure out. I was trying to make the donor ready for that. And he said, how much are they going to ask me for? <laughs> and, and I said, mm, I think a million dollars. This was back when it was, you know, 20 years ago. And he said he was very quiet for a long time. And I'm going, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What have I said? I should not have mentioned the number. And then he said, hmm. Tell them, tell them to come next year, not this year. I think I can do that next year. Sounds very, very awesome. Oh, yes, I'm ready. So, so, so understanding your donor's cues. And, you know, a lot of people say that your donor is throwing off cues all the time about what they want to do and what their time is. What do you think about that, Beth Ann? Throwing off cues. Oh, yes, because I think that one of the things we need to get over is thinking about asking for money and talking about how the donor can create change. That to me is instead of thinking about how to get money from the donor, it's about inviting them in to make all the change that you're talking about. And so donors want to make that change. Money is just a way to do it. And so the amount isn't as important to talk about until the end, but the change that they can make by participating and being an important partner in your work is. Brilliant. Thank you, Beth Ann. You drove that one home. Thank you. <laughs> so everybody, if you want Beth Ann's in my coaching on how to move your high net worth donors to major gift ask for transformational gifts, please consider joining the Major Gifts Intensive. We're going to be starting in early March, and we would love to have you join us. We are, in fact, filling up. So if you're interested, schedule a strategy call with us quickly.